Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back and today we are continuing our JavaScript track from Code Academy and basically what I want to show you guys really quick is how to navigate Code Academy, at least the JavaScript track of it. Um, so you basically type in codeacademy.com slash track slash JavaScript and that will present to you this nice lovely page full of links where you can go into the different um, lessons that they have set up. This is pretty much gone from their websites. If you go to learn, it just it starts you from the beginning and you never see this. I don't know why that is. I think that's pretty weird, but yeah, that I'm not the one designing it. So what we will be working on is this. Number three, search text for your name. It's a project. So Let's start it. This is an example of what we're going to be working on. It's pretty basic. Okay, so for lesson number two, what Codecademy wants us to do is Codecademy wants us to declare some variables, three variables. The first one being text, and remember, text will hold in all the unnecessary, most of the unnecessary words that we will not really need, except for our names. We will insert a bunch of crap inside of the text variable, but inside of that crap will be our names will be our name. So here I am, I'm just making up a lot of crap, like I said, said chimichunga. Um, yeah. So, once I'm done with this, I can't even spell. Make sure you, add, you don't forget the apostrophes. Once you're done with that, you basically go on to create the variable my name and set it equal to your name mine being Henry as you may have already guessed and you want to create a variable called hits and that with an empty with an empty list so empty brackets so text holds up all the strings that we're going to need most of the strings that we're going to need my name holds our name and hits will pretty much be what we extract we're going to put all of the nest all of the important information inside of this hits so save and submit. Moving on to the next lesson. Well, Code Academy wants us to write our first loop. And how this can be accomplished, simply put, is by doing this. Now watch closely. What we want to do is we want to write a for loop. And as you may have already guessed how to do or learned how to do from me, hopefully, is you basically create a variable called i. You can create a variable of anything, but this is pretty much the standard a variable of i, and I'll, I will explain all of this once I'm done. I can't really talk while I type. Plus plus. Okay, so we create a variable i. We set it equal to zero, and we are we assign text where this dot length because we want to compare the variable i to the variable text. So for for how many characters that the variable text has will be the amount of characters that the variable i will have. Another way to prove this is we can log this out if you guys don't believe me. So put in text and it will tell us how many characters this has. Spaces do also count. So, whoops, not really what I was looking for. Line. Save and submit. So this text variable has 73 different characters. Yeah. Moving on to the next lesson, make sure you delete this. This is not what you really want to have in your code. So what Code Academy wants us to do is to write an if statement. Now, my if statement differs. If you guys were paying attention, you'll pretty much realize this. Mine differs from Code Academy's, but it's still the same thing. It functions right. It's just, it's a different way of looking at it. So here is what I did. You can choose whichever way that you so well want to, as long as it does work. So here is how I did mine if text I two equals my name and yeah. So let me break this down for you guys. So we, we created an if statement. We're basically saying we're looking JavaScript, look at this, look at this variable. We're we're, we're basically assigning it to I. And we're saying, is this equal to my variable? Remember, one equal sign just means to copy it. 
copy whatever this is. Two equal signs is basically means that we are comparing them. And zero obviously means one, if you've been paying attention. So that's pretty much it, save and submit. Moving on to the next lesson. So number five, what number five wants us to do is to create another for loop. Now you guys can read in the description what this is, but what this particular lesson wants us to do. But basically what it comes down to in a nutshell is we want to create something just along the lines of this. Blank plus O plus I and then a J plus plus. Okay, so that's basically what we want to do. Oh, and one more thing. We we need to have we need to add hits. Text. Okay, so what's going on in this code? We create another for loop. We assigned this new variable j equal to i. J is going to check the length of names. So this is a five letter name, five letter string. And it's basically going to do the same function that i does. And we're basically going to push whatever the result, whatever we get as a result for the variable j, we're going to push it into this. So push basically means we're going to insert it into the hits array. So save and submit, and we get a red. It looks like your second, your second for loop isn't pushing values to the hits array. Oh, that's ridiculous. Of course it's pushing this. Isn't it? Isn't it? Let me see. Of course it is. These people are crazy. I know I know how to program. Okay, let me let me give me a second to troubleshoot this. Okay, so I have a hypothesis that I did not make a mistake. It's just I guess Coquette, we just have to delete this and we're going to save and submit and we get the green check mark. So basically what what the problem was was it, it was not there was nothing wrong with my code in particular. It was just I forgot to delete this. I guess Coquademy wanted us to write the this part line twelve on line seventeen or something, but I didn't. So yeah, make sure you watch out for that. Moving on to the next lesson. So for the next lesson is basically how we wrap up. We want to create an if statement, and what this if statement will do is this if statement will check to see if hit is the length of zero and if it is a length of zero what we basically want to let the user who is using this program know is that if it's the length of zero your their name was not found in our system database whatever you want to call it so yeah kind of like error proofing it error proofing. So what we want to go ahead and do here is create an else statement and for the else statement we just log out log out what would happen hits. So if if there if the length of hits was zero their name was not found in the system but if the length if there is if it's more than zero their name was found, which means it will return my name, Henry, how many times it found it. Whoa there, that was not how I had planned it to be. Okay, let me let me look over this again. Silly old me. I for so remember back in like the last step I deleted hits? Well, yeah, I shouldn't have. Hits should have been over here. Instead of down there. So yeah, save and submit, and it should come up just like that yeah this is how it really should come out like not vertical if you have it vertical uh, make sure that you did not delete hits so yeah moving on to the next lesson so this next lesson basically tells us that we we did everything that was required of us and it also shows us that there are some problems with this program such as if I if I add an I in between E and H, it will still return it, even though it's not the, exactly my name. So that's pretty much a shortcoming of this program you see here, right there. It still returns it. So it, it kind of challenges you to create a better program with everything that you've learned so far. 
So I hope that I was helpful and useful and please comment down below and like subscribe. Please click on every ad in or around my videos. I get a small cut. You guys get some great ads. This is Henry1502 Inc. I'm 